steps. And Jeremy, I know we say one system at a time, so right now we're focusing on tomorrow, but it's a busy stretch in the following days. You're 100% right, Lisa. We are going to see several storm systems in a row. This one's going to give us primarily snowfall. In our southern tier, we might see some mixing, but for the rest of us, we're going to see all snow throughout the system tomorrow night into Sunday. But we have another system coming in on Tuesday that's going to bring us some snow and then some heavy rain. And we have another one set up for next weekend that could bring us a snow rain mix. So we have several systems in a row. This one is going to be the big one, though, for our snowfall. And that's why we have winter storm warnings in effect across the region. You can see them there shaded in pink. All of our counties now shaded in pink. Tioga and Potter counties now also included in that winter storm warning because we believe that it is imminent that we will definitely see significant snowfall accumulations over the next 24 hours or so. Here's a current live view at our satellite and radar. You can see we already have some of those clouds starting to stream into central Pennsylvania from the storm system down to the south. And that's going to be bringing us that snow starting in the afternoon tomorrow. If you want to get out and do anything, tomorrow morning is the best time to do it. If you're available to do so, you're not going to run in any travel delays. Once the snow starts, though, it's going to be heavy and steady at times. So if you can, try to avoid travel between noon and midnight tomorrow. Earlier today, we did wake up to temperatures that were pretty chilly. 22 in Scranton, 16 in Mount Pocono, 19 in Hazleton. And so cold that in Music Lakes, Carol sent in this photo from Mount Cobb. She called it the calm before the storm. Of course, we had lots of sunshine today, but a lot of frozen lakes out across central and northeastern Pennsylvania. Tonight is no exception. We're going down into the 20s and teens. 15 degrees in Lopez, 23 in Forkston, 24 already in Scranton, 26 in Bloomsburg, 20 in Mansfield, and 24 out in Renova. Here's how I see this storm system playing out. It's going to ride itself up the coast, and once it's off our coast, it will intensify because it's all over water. It gets that increased moisture inside of it, and we'll also have this counterclockwise flow, which will filter in colder air from the northwest. That'll come directly out of Canada, and that will allow us to remain primarily snow across the region. But this low pressure has been tracking just ever so slightly more northward than prior model trends. So we see a little bit of an inching in of that rain snow line in the portions of our southern tier. So here's how I see things on a closer view. Already those clouds filling in across all of central and northeastern Pennsylvania overnight tonight. We'll see the first few flakes in central Pennsylvania. They're near State College around 1230. They'll push across the entirety of central and northeastern Pennsylvania by four. We'll all be seeing heavy snow downpours, and these could be one to two inches an hour, so they will be blinding. You don't want to be driving in anything like this. From four through 630, you see that mixing starting there in our southern tier, maybe nipping into Schuylkill, Carbon counties. Earlier model trends even had some of that mixing extending up into Lackawanna County, so I think there might be a little bit of a dampening effect there in our southern counties, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Monroe there in the southern portions of those counties. But once you're in the northern portions of Monroe, you might see a very strong gradient, maybe three inches for the southern tier in those very southern portions of Carbon and Monroe, but in the northern portion of Carbon and Monroe, you might see over six inches because of that rain snow line. It's all dependent on where that will set up. We'll still see some flakes pushing through by midnight. The last ones will exit by around 3 a.m. There could be some residual flurries, but these won't really put down a majority of the accumulations. The majority of the accumulations will occur before midnight between 12 and midnight on Saturday. All right, Sunday will be primarily cloudy, and then Monday will bring in some more sunshine once again. This is the GFS. It's showing over 11 inches of snow for portions of the Poconos. I think that this is a little bit of an overestimate, but it is a possibility. We look at many different models, the RPM, the Euro, the GFS, the NAM, in order to understand. We look at these patterns. We see how they change over the course of time, and we put together our WNEP map to show you the primarily majority of us will see over four inches. There might be some of us that see over eight inches, and we could even see five Five to 10 there in the Poconos. Here's your seven day forecast looking like this heavy snow throughout the entire afternoon and evening tomorrow. And then we're watching our next system for Tuesday and Scott and Lisa. I wanted to just quickly mention we have my first ever jug head here in the backyard. <laughs> I wanted to thank the local artist Jay Vonderhey. He did an amazing job with me. My hair looks exact and we have all of our snowfall uh, predictions here on my face measured on when we think where it's going to go up to on my face. We'll see who wins. Lisa and Scott, I know you put your predictions in. I have mine, Rennie, Kurt, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, Jeremy. I'm eyeball height. Yeah, That's eyeball right. height and I am just beneath the eyeball height. Uh -huh. Good luck <laughs> this weekend. Thank you. Have all a good right. night. You too.